Hey everyone, Haley here from The Foiled Plan. If you are anything like me, I'm sure you find it hard to justify purchasing new products just because of the color when you already have an item that does the same thing. That's why today I am showing you how I customized my Cricut tools to match my craft room. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing that I did was grab all of my Cricut tools and then I moved over to my workroom, which is significantly less glamorous than my craft room, but that's okay. So I know it's gonna be spray painting, so I made sure to wear a mask just because of the fumes. Then I took some painter's tape. You can definitely use thicker painter's tape. This is just what I had on hand. And then I taped off the sections of the tools that I didn't want to get paint on. Then once I was done taping them off, I realized I probably should have given everything a little bit of a light sanding. So you can do the sanding before or after you apply the tape. It's completely up to you. But I ended up doing it after. And then once I had everything lightly sanded, and this is a very fine grit sandpaper by the way, uh, I took all of the tools over to my laundry room and I just gave them a quick wipe down so that there was no sanding dust on any of the tools. Then I came back once they were clean and dry and I grabbed my can of spray paint. Now I am going to be using my Premier spray paint. I use a lot of the Rust-Oleum spray paints. Uh, this is just one I happen to have on hand and because it was already purple, it was perfect. So you just wanna make sure you follow directions on your spray paint. Usually you have to shake them really vigorously and then hold the can about 10 to 12 centimeters away, sorry, 10 to 12 inches away from the item that you're spray painting. Then I just found some random things in our workroom to rest the painted tools on just so they were elevated slightly. So you can see here, I've got the painter's tape roll and then I found a random lid from a bottle. And then for the scissors, I even found like a random plastic um, painter's palette, any random thing just to elevate the tools slightly so they're not touching the paper. Once this first coat was done, I let it dry for about 10 to 15 minutes. Then I came back and I applied a second light coat of the purple. Then again, I let that sit and dry fully. I came back in about 20 minutes and I sealed the paint with a clear top coat. Once that top coat of sealant was dry, I brought all of the tools back into my craft room, which as you can tell by the lighting, it's a lot easier to see what I'm doing now. Then I just very carefully peeled off the painter's tape from each of the tools. And if there was any spots where paint had bled underneath the tape, I just either used my fingernail or thumbnail or I actually used my weeding tool and just kind of scraped it off. There was only a couple spots on the scoring tool and the actual scraper itself, so not too bad. And just like that, I've got myself some customized tools. Well, I hope you found this tutorial helpful and maybe it'll inspire you to customize your own Cricut tools. If you do happen to customize your tools, take a picture and post it on Instagram and tag me so that I can see your results. As always, helpful links will be posted in the description box below. If you have any other questions, pop them in the comment section and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel so that you don't miss out on any new videos. And that's all I'm going to say. See you next Friday. Bye.